Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and uh, well, I know we've all heard about uh, cutaway locks and things like that. I've got a really beautiful one here. Um, but I've always wanted to have a, a, a lever padlock with a, not really a cutaway, but a perspex front. I, th I thought they'd be quite nice uh, little project to do. And um, I was thinking, what do I need for it? Because I, I want to make it quite a nice job. Well, I managed to get some uh, three millimeter perspex, which is nice and chunky. So it, uh, it won't be too flexible. Um, also got these, let me get them over here. Well, I've got a whole pack of them actually. Um, a whole pack of these, I've seen them called all sorts of things, sex screws and furniture bolts and all sorts of things. Um, but essentially these are flat so that they won't exert undue um, point pressure on the perspex because I've seen people use uh, screws with a taper which essentially uh, ends up cracking the perspex. So uh, I want to try and avoid that with these. Um, and what I'll need to do is grind off um, most of these uh, points, so probably this one, this one, this one, and this one, uh, and this one, leaving the ones at the back which aren't all the way through, because the ones at the back which aren't all the way through hold the lever pack on, I believe. So the first thing I'll do is grind off um, these little pins and pull the front off. Then what I'll probably need to do, because these are a little bit thicker, is actually drill um, get a, get my drill press set up and actually um, drill through um, anything which is a little bit um, small and put new pins in. So I'll try to record as much of the process as I can um, and wish me luck. Thank you. 
Okay then, so, um, well that was exciting. What we've done is we've taken um, off the front plate of the lock, we've gutted all of the insides, and I've learned a couple of things. Um, I learned that I probably, this was a good idea to take off these little um, nubs, which essentially sort of, uh, you know, act like a rivet, I guess, and keep the whole lock together. You've got to take those off, but it's still held in quite tightly, so I definitely recommend uh, drilling out the tops of these once they've been ground off flat um, sooner rather than later. So that's one tip there. Um, the other thing is um, this, and uh, this is what I actually accidentally uh, stood on, but this is absolutely brilliant for cutting um, acrylic or perspex. Uh, use the lowest speed you can on your multi-tool. And yeah, you can use a fret saw and things like that. Um, but this, this just made light work of uh, shaping those curves. And, it, and, and shaping curves is quite hard in acrylic. But I was doing so well, I was doing so, so well doing an acrylic front and then I just drilled out the, um, the the keyhole and look what happened. I mean, all of that shaping, if you've ever worked with acrylic, doing these curves and getting it all smooth like that is a nightmare, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, so I was absolutely gutted, but it's okay. I'm nothing but uh, somebody with perseverance and look at this. I think that's even better, although weirdly it's got a tiny little kind of like gouge at the top and I don't know where that came from but it's such a small blemish that I'm not even that worried about it and you can see how it should be lined up with all of those up posts um, ready for an assembly so shall we give it a go okay cue music <laughs> So, what we've done is uh, we've gone from this, there we go, to this. And I guess the proof of the pudding is, does it work? Yes, it does. So yeah, not a bad little project that. Um, I definitely recommend you having a go at it. I think using these um, flat headed screws really help so you don't um, crack the acrylic or perspex when you're um, uh, yeah when you're uh, screwing it all down but yeah that, that works out really well. It's quite a nice little object to show people how a very simple, this is very simple, uh, lever padlock works. Yeah I quite like it. Let me know what you think in the comments and um, I'll see you next time.